What's up everyone? This is how to insider channel. The end of this video, you will know how to transfer music from iPhone to Mac. An iPhone has always been one of the best devices to play music on. As a music lover, you must have collected a lot of songs on your iPhone just like me. All of these songs we collected are precious. Every once in a while, you may want to keep a copy of these songs onto your Mac for backup, because you don't want to lose these precious collections. That can be a little bit difficult in Apple ecosystem if you don't know how to transfer music iPhone to Mac. Then, don't worry, I will show you three methods in this video on how you can transfer music from your iPhone to your Mac. The Apple Music app now comes built into every iPhone. This is a wonderful music stream app. It has never been easier for you to get hold of the music that you want with a paid subscription. If you're a subscriber to Apple Music, all the music will automatically transfer back and forth as long as you sign in with the same Apple ID and enable the sync library feature. Let's dive in. Open settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down to find music and tap it. All you need to do now is turn on the toggle for sync library. Next, let's open your Mac to turn on the sync library feature as well. Open music app. There is a menu bar at the top of your Mac screen. Click on the music button then preferences. You will see a window appearing on the screen, tick the little box next to sync library. Then, after a couple of minutes that music would have transferred from your iPhone to your Mac. You can open the music app on your Mac to check. Method 2 is to use a third-party tool named iPhone Data Transfer. You can download it from the description below this video. I have put a download link there. Once downloaded, open it on your Mac. What you need to do next is connect your iPhone to your Mac with a USB cord. When iPhone data transfer detects your iPhone, it will show you the detailed info of your device. You will find there are some tabs at the left side of the window, photos, music, videos, contacts and others. Because we're going to transfer the music to your Mac, we choose the music tab here. Once clicked, iPhone data transfer will load up all the music files from your iPhone. Unlike the sync library feature, iPhone data transfer allows you to choose which music files to transfer or not. Tick the songs that you would like to transfer to your Mac. You can see there are some icons at the top of the window. Click on the export to Mac button that looks like a computer. The selected songs can be moved to your Mac within minutes. Now, you can enjoy your music on your Mac. Being an iPhone user, you have probably heard of iTunes. It is Apple's media library. We're going to use this software to transfer songs from iPhone to Mac. The bad news is that iTunes has been retired in macOS Catalina. Therefore, you can't apply this method if you are running macOS Catalina or a later operating system on Mac. One more thing to note is that iTunes can only help you transfer the purchased songs from your iPhone to your Mac. Since I don't have a Mac that is running an earlier operating system than macOS Catalina, I will use the iTunes application on my Windows PC. Don't worry, the steps are the same. Let's start, you need to go and get your iPhone and connect it to your Mac. Open iTunes if your iPhone is connected fully. Then click account from the horizontal tab in the upper left corner of iTunes. This will show you a list of options, from here, click authorize this computer. You may need to enter your Apple ID and passcode. After that, you can click the authorize button to proceed. Now, it's time to transfer your purchased songs from iPhone to Mac. Click files here, then click devices from the list. What you're going to do next is hit transfer purchases from your iPhone's name to begin the transfer process. This will magically transfer all those music purchases from your iPhone to your Mac. Okay that's all for how to transfer music from iPhone to Mac. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think this video is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. For more tutorials, you can subscribe to us. See you next time.